Hey guys, Mr. Bexley here. Um, today, our game plan is we're going to take a compound of H2O2, which is two hydrogen atoms bonded to two oxygen atoms, and it makes hydrogen peroxide. You know hydrogen peroxide as uh, something your parents might put on a cut as an antiseptic. All right. Um, we are going to use a much much stronger version of hydrogen peroxide. What you use at home might be about 3% hydrogen peroxide, the rest water. This is 35%, that's why I'm all geared up here. Got my glasses on, lab coat, gloves, because it is pretty dangerous, okay? Um, so let's take a look at what we're gonna do today. So how we're gonna pull apart our H2O2 into plain old oxygen O2 and water. That's the game plan for today. Um, I'm gonna start with my H2O2, I'm going to take 80 milliliters, as I have my bottle marked here, I'm gonna use a funnel, I'm gonna pour very slowly because this is my dangerous chemical I'm using today. A little more. Again, I have exactly 80 milliliters marked on this bottle and I wanna be precise in my measurements to get the appropriate reaction. going to take a little bit of Dawn dish soap so we can see the reaction a little bit better. And my squirt in there. Alright, give it a quick mix. Next, I'm going to measure out 15 grams potassium iodide. I'll be using potassium iodide as my catalyst for this reaction. Now normally, believe it or not, H2O2 normally decomposes in nature. So it's going to, over a long period of time, eventually turn itself into water and oxygen. So the reaction is happening as we speak. However, we want to speed it up with what we call a catalyst for the reaction. So I'm going to zero out my little Beaker here. I got some warm water which I heated up on the hot plate. I'm going to measure out 15 grams of my potassium iodide. We'll take it, that'll work. Next, I'm going to make a saturated solution of water and potassium iodide. So this will dissolve in water. I'm going to use nice warm water to get those particles moving around a little bit faster. Okay. My saturated oh. solution of water and potassium iodide. Potassium iodide, again, is our catalyst for this reaction. Potassium iodide is made of two, uh, two different atoms bonded together, potassium and iodine. And then we have our H2O2, two hydrogens, two oxygens, in our bottle here. Now I made this bottle just because I want you to be able to see the reaction a little bit better. We could do this in a beaker, but it's just kind of better to do it like this. And I'll explain why in a couple of minutes. All right, so we are planning on Pulling apart those H2O2s to make hydrogen, H2O, and O2.
All right, couple things to think about here. First of all, I don't know if you can see the steam coming off of this. It is really, really, really warm. Warm, very warm to the touch. The plastic is even getting a little more malleable, all right? You see all the foam that's being created right now. That is simply oxygen gas getting trapped in the soap that I put in there. So I put soap in there so you could see the oxygen gas bubbles forming. Notice it was a pretty explosive reaction. That catalyst really, really hurries up that reaction so we can pull apart those H2O2 molecules. Um, it is called an exothermic reaction because it's releasing energy as heat and it's also decomposing H2O2.